Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. A lot to talk about. We've got fog showers, maybe a thunderstorm this evening. Let's first take a look at the severe thunderstorm watch off to our west, a rear severe thunderstorm watch uh, off uh, across western New England, New York, and into New Jersey. Means there's a potential for severe weather there. Quiet in our area for now in terms of rain. But look at this line of showers and thunderstorms across New York, down into New Jersey, and all the lightning associated with it. Taking a close look at this storm. So storm standing as tall as 30 to 40,000 feet high in the atmosphere. Very impressive for late February. Our threat tracker for us locally this evening, we are looking at some areas of dense fog. We'll see some showers become more widespread. Thunderstorm possible, but I think that line will be weakening over the next couple of hours. Then after midnight, drops back down to that low category. Same for Sunday, relatively quiet. We've got some fog down here in Narragansett. We've got some fog here in the Providence area. Drive carefully this evening. Visibility could quickly drop as you're driving around the region. Temperature still very mild in the 50s. Here comes that line of showers and thunderstorms associated with a cold front that's currently pushing through New York and Pennsylvania. You can see the cold air behind it. 37 in Syracuse. Meanwhile, it's 52 degrees here in Providence. This cooler air will be working its way in throughout the nighttime tonight. So here's our future cast. Look at the possibility for some downpours over the next several hours. Here comes that line. Notice how it kind of falls apart a little bit as it pushes through southeastern New England, but a rumble of thunder certainly possible uh, anytime after about 8 o'clock this evening. Lingering showers through midnight and then we'll be clearing out late in the night, setting us up for a sunny day tomorrow, but cooler. Future cast for tonight. Fog, showers, maybe a thunderstorm, overnight lows, about 37 degrees. It'll get a lot cooler late in the night with the uh, skies clearing out. For Sunday morning, starting out in the 30s, we'll find temperatures rising back into the low 40s in the afternoon, quickly pinpointing the the afternoon temperatures will be topping out in the low 40s. Charlestown, Narragansett, Newport about 42. Low 40s in Johnston, Providence, West Warwick, Cranston and Warwick. 43 degrees in Fall River. We were in the 60s over the last several days. 40s tomorrow. Winds from the west northwest. A little gusty everywhere. 10 20 miles an hour. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. We're back into the 50s for Monday with sunshine. Temperatures climbing into the lower 50s on Tuesday. We'll find uh, still mild temperatures in the area, but we are looking at the skies to be clouding up. Could be finding some rain showers around late afternoon and during the early evening. More showers still possible Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We're in the 50s uh, on Thursday at least. And then we'll be cooling off as we get into the uh, latter part of the week, only in the 30s next Saturday. So when Puxatani Phil said we were in for six more weeks of winter. I think he was badly mistaken, <laughs> although we might still see a little bit of snow down the road. Okay. Um, he's going to call very unhappy very shortly. I'm, I'm sure. All right, TJ, thank you.